Big up to all my subscribers. I'm here in the kitchen about to make some pumpkin soup, Jamaica style. All right. So you have some water on the stove boiling in the pot. And I have my meat clean up at a time. The meat that I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using some chicken foot, some chicken back, and some beef. All right. So I'm going to put my meats in the pot. Jamaican, this is like a traditional thing, like for most also, every Saturday they have soup for dinner, with a red pea soup, pumpkin soup, yeah, so it's a traditional thing, it's the same like um, Jamaica, we have like Sunday and Sunday after I've rice some peas. Most also do that. Some people don't even, you know, fondo rice and peas like that. Some people cook like food, ground provision, and a Sunday with meat, right? So most also they have to have the rice and peas, and um, you eat that on Sunday, and then they leave over some for like for Sunday. If after the Sunday, you have it for Monday, right? During the week, no like. And they come on to a like sometimes it all go over like to like a Tuesday the rice and peas right so like all the Wednesday no they go look a, they go look a vegetable or so with either rice or or ground provision you know and a Thursday for most also they do like stew peas and rice you know yes and like a Friday most also in Jamaica they don't cook on a Friday they either go to KFC or Burger King. Or, you know, whatever they choose. Some people go and get jerk pork, jerk chicken, and bread or festival. That's what they do on a Friday, right? Some also will still cook on a Friday, you know, because they want to cook. And if they feel hungry in the later on, then they can have a second eat of whatever they prepare, you know. Yes. So that's how they do it in Jamaica. Yes. All right. So I'm going to pour some green gungu in my pot with the meat. All right. Yes, guys, this soup gonna be so nice. I'm not asking him, no. All right, so I'm gonna stir in this a little bit and then I'm gonna allow it to cook. And I'm gonna add some garlic, two cloves of garlic. To help to tenderize the meat, right? Garlic cloves. So here I have my vegetable set aside. I'm gonna cut it up. I have some celery, some chocho, carrots, and potato. Yes, and I also have my pumpkin here. So I have to peel the pumpkin. Yes, when I finish, I'm gonna take the hard skin off the pumpkin and cut it up. I'm gonna put a few um, cubes like in the the pot to boil and I'm gonna put some like in all pieces yes and when that cook no then I'll take it out from the pot and mash it and put it back into the pot you guys will see you will definitely see it all right so this is my meat and my green gungu in the pot all right all right so I'm gonna cover that now allow it to take it time and boil until it it cooks all right guys so I'm gonna go ahead and cut up my vegetable, right? So I will be back. Okay guys, I'm back. Just finished cutting up my vegetables. So I have some corn I'm gonna put in the pot. Some corn. in the pot I 
for these to cook. And when they cook, I'm going to take them out back, as I said before, and crush them. Crush it out and then put it back in the pot. Alright, guys. Alright. I'm going to peel a piece of yam to put in the pot. A piece of yellow yam. See? I'm going to peel a piece of yam to put in the pot. I don't even look like it's all that good to be honest. My God. I beg my sister buy this piece of yam at the farmer's market, but it doesn't seem like I'm gonna get any from this yam. Doesn't seem like it's good at all. I think she paid about five dollars something for this piece of yam and the yam not good. Can you imagine? God bless what I get off the yam. The yam is not good. Just that four little cubes. Yam is not good at all. The yam is so expensive too. I'm gonna put this vegetable in here also. Just put in everything, let it just simmer until everything cooks. In the meantime, I'm going to clean up back all these vegetable skin. 
I need some flour to make two dumplings for my soup. So I'll be back again, guys. Yes, guys, I'm about to need my flour now. Just wash my hands to put in the pot. So here I have some cornmeal and some flour with a little bit of salt. put too much water too much water in at once you have to take your time and pour the water little by little to form the dough for the dumpling Put too much water in this <coughs> flour, all hell break loose. Hear yeah, them talk about flour spoil. Too much water going there get soft. Sometimes no matter how much flour you pour on it back, <laughs> you're not lucky for getting it come back. Sometimes it just you have to just pour it out. So when you're kneading dough, you have to be careful and know all you need your dough and how much water you put in take it and add your water gradually little by little yep for me I always have to have my dumpling in my soup the dumpling is not in it to me come like I'm not drinking soup to be honest because I love when dumpling in my soup. Some people don't put it in there. Some people do it. Cook soup without dumpling. Some people. There's all kind of soup. Jamaica style. Yeah, vegetarian soup. But you know, they don't eat meat and yet it's just vegetable. All vegetable in their soup. meat just vegetable all right so you see see the dough I'm gonna wash my hands because I'm gonna take the pumpkin out of the pot. I'm gonna wash out the flour off my hands.
All right. So I'm going to remove the pumpkin from the pot. So they already cooked. So these are all the pumpkin I removed from the pot. Alright. I'm gonna crush it in a minute or so. guys
Alright, hold a minute guys, I'll soon be back again. Today I have the pumpkin here guys, all mashed and ready to go back in the pot. This is what I'm going to give my soup the color, that bright yellow color. Yeah, for to waste anything, you know. So, I'll use this soap water to get these out of the bowl. See? Right. See that, guys? See that nice yellow color? Mm -hmm. Spoken soup, baby. Alright, for me, I'm gonna um I'm gonna put some cut noodle in this, but I'm not gonna put the noodle. This is Grace Cock Noodle. But I'm not gonna put the noodle, I'm gonna sieve it off just for the season for the flavor. I don't want a noodle in it. Sometimes you put the noodle in it and it makes the soup get very thick. Right? So this is what I'm gonna do. I just need the, the season up, season of it from, from the noodle. I don't need the noodle in there. just for flavor some people put the whole entire thing in it but I don't want the noodle in it okay so this now just throw it out in the trash I don't use it This is another one. This is a pumpkin, pumpkin soup, Caribbean dream brand. I'm gonna do the same thing like I do with the first one. So this is pumpkin soup noodle. All right. Just for flavor. See that? You 
Spare ships know what's going on here now. I am not even putting the seeds in the skeleton and the thyme and the pepper in it yet. And the pimento seed. Okay, imagine when I put those in it. All right. some fermented seeds put a few grain in it a green pepper already washed it and I have some okros I'm gonna put in these last 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 I'm gonna wait to kind of simmer down some more then I'm gonna put the okra on the top of it because I love okros See that guys, I'm going to put my skeleton and my thyme. Alright, so these are some frozen thyme. I already wash them before I freeze them. So I just take from the refrigerator straight to the pot. Last but not least, I'm going to put some scallion in the pot. Yeah. I'll put some scallion in the pot. And then after that, I'm just going to leave it there to simmer. Okay guys, so here I have the skeleton I'm going to put to the pot, alright, then I'm going to stir this in. some salt or anything it tastes good I can take a little bit of salt not a lot because I don't want any sour soup yes yeah, so I'm gonna put a little salt Just take your time and simmer down and then I'll come back and show you guys the Phoenix finished product okay yes guys my soup all finished it's done cooking so I'm just gonna share out some and let you guys see what the finished products look like pumpkin soup Jamaica style.
so there you have it guys see pumpkin soup Jamaica style there you have it you guys should try some pumpkin soup for those who don't know it you should give it a try you will enjoy it for sure all right please like comment share and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye for now.